Hello everyone, welcome back to story mode. We are fighting these guys, apparently. Anyway, we were supposed to ring bells somewhere out here. Uh, there's more fights. Sorry. Fights everywhere. Uh, so many big fellows. Now that I'm fighting a million huge chums, uh, let's just go ahead and ask you folks a question. Uh, what sort of stuff would you guys like me to be playing on this here channel? Because I got a long list of stuff I want to play on this here channel. But, uh... I don't know, like... <laughs> I'm here to entertain you as well, so... What sort of stuff would you like to see? Side quest should come back. Uh... That trailer for Sekiro looks awesome, so that's definitely happening. Uh... And I'm thinking of some point maybe playing Bloodborne myself. Like, I know Dan Jones already did it on this channel, but... Man, I like that game. That could be fun to do. Okay, so we got some bells. Um, it's a carving of a bell. There seems to be a big bell above the gizmo shop. Ah, so do I ring... I don't see it, but I think the bell's up there. So let's see if I can get myself up there. Uh, anyway, yeah, there's, there's several games that I would very much enjoy playing on this channel that I've got planned. And I also want to try to play some new stuff now and then, because that's fun too, like... Stuff that just came out. Get the latest animation happening in the games industry. Anyway, y'all let me know if there's anything that, uh... Like, kinda comes off the top of your head as something that'd be really fun to watch me play. There's a ladder back here. There is! Ha ha! And there's some bells and a bunch of enemies. Hang on. Where's this last enemy? Stop being in combat. Who isn't dead yet? Oh, it's an enemy down there. Come on now. What if I come down here? Will you chase me? Please. Yeah, y'all get him. There we go. Okay. Took care of that little problem. Now, bells. There's bells here. And... Okay. Uh, let's try this uh, Trinity mark here. Boom, boom, boom! Yes, and there's a bell! I've gotten quite good at ringing these on this channel. Always leads to good things. Ooh. Uh, what if we ring it three times? Cool. Once more. Yeah! I did something! Yeah! That was easier than I thought. Now then... I want to jump down, but I think I saw a chest that I might be able to jump to, so... Let's see, where was it? Down here! Let's see if I can land on that little ledge there. Might not be able to pull that off until I come back later with some better jumping and gliding abilities. Uh, easy does it. No, no. All right, drop down. Drop down. Yes! <laughs> Take that, gravity. Think you're so smart. Anyway, let's seal this here world. Uh-oh. It was Donald's idea! Alright, let's beat him up again. I haven't adjusted Donald and Goofy's customization settings like I said I was going to. I should probably do that. 
But they're doing alright. Admittedly, I've not been paying very close attention to their, uh, activities. Did I win? That was easier than I thought. Oh, nope. Oh, uh... It would appear not. Whoa, now. That's awesome. Oh, that the animation on that thing is so cool. And easy for them, too. It can just float around, doesn't have to worry about ground contacts with feet or anything like that. What a cool boss design. Which they get a lot of mileage out of, too. Oh, that's a lot of tech points. <laughs> for just one parry. I dig it. Donald Goofy, let's just, like, win, shall we? It's not the best pep talk in the world, but we're already kind of mid-fight. Cut me some slack. For once. Let's take out some of these limbs. Yes. Yes. I'm hoping we'll get a scan ability sometime soon so I can actually see the enemy health. That is a really handy ability. There we go. Come on. I think there's probably a good bit more depth to this combat system than it probably looks like. <laughs> To be fair, I'm doing a lot of X spam right now. Ah. Oh, are we gonna Ganondorf? Let's Ganondorf. Oh, come on. No, I want to send it back. Oh. Come on. One more shot. Eh, fine. I can heal now, though. That's so good. I don't think I've seen Donald or Goofy die recently. It's astonishing. Eh, screw Ganondorfing. Let's just... Eh, doesn't seem to be doing anything anyway. Yeah, look at all those levels. Mmm, feels good. Get out of here. The power of wind. I don't remember what the arrow spell does. Other than just being like a different element. Is arrow like a shield in this one? Hmm. I don't remember. Anyway. Locked up another world. Feels good. Yay! We done did it! Yes! Let's see, what other business, if any, do we have in this world right now? Because I don't think it's much. Let's find Sid in the first district again. Since he requested we do that, there's our boy! Sid! My friend. Hey, now that was quick. Now you know, I'm in the gummy block business. Okay. <laughs> Working on your gummy ship sure was great. Come back again and I'll give you a big discount. Cool. Go ahead and take it. Special giveaway. Alright. Hey, you got another navigation gummy there, huh? I just found it. I'll bet you want it installed. Yes, please. Hmm, looks like this is another one of those blocks that come in sets. You gotta find the mate to this one. Well, alright. I guess that is how gummy ships works. <laughs> Let's get out of here. I think we are done in this town. If 
for the time being. Yes. Yes, I believe we are. Let's go to the next world and find ourselves... Oh, wait, hang on. Gotta do this first. Alright. Such progress we're making. There's a tournament being held at the Coliseum. I hear there's a great reward for the winner. Later, my friends. Hmm. Which of these to take? Didn't realize I was going to have options here. And this one's closest. Let's try this. Where this go? And gummy. I think it'll be a shorter trip this time, so let's just... I don't know, let's just ride this out, huh? How are y'all doing? <laughs> I guess that's the end of the conversation I really have <laughs> to bring to the table right here. Just flying a ship. I'm very focused. There's a lot to concentrate on here. In gummy flight. I've got to steer the ship, for one. Got to aim my little gummy gun at these ships. And I have to hold the circle button the whole time. Which is really enough to keep the mind busy. For prolonged periods of time. Anyway, that's what my life is about right now. What are you up to over there? Are you just, like, kind of watching this while you work on something? Are you focused entirely on this? In which case, I'm sorry, because this is boring. There's a warp pole, though. Let's go in. Looks suspicious. Maybe it leads to another world. Let's check it out. Ooh. A new place to fly the gummy ship. Let's just fast forward this. <laughs>
he sounds like he's just eating it up. And also, like, there's one point in that film where he does a laugh. Uh, I think it's kind of a... After he's, um... Kind of become an all-powerful sorcerer and he sends a lot and like he's kind of knocked Aladdin to the ends of the earth and all that stuff He does this Throat shredding laugh that just sounds so painful, but it like it sounds amazing But it hurts to imagine doing Anyway There's your there's your Disney trivia, I guess. Here, no, that's that's that sucks. Let's find a better one uh, Aladdin trivia this was the last movie that Howard Ashman worked on. Uh, Howard Ashman was a guy who was largely responsible for the Disney Renaissance in the 90s, starting with uh, uh, The Little Mermaid being as great as it was. He uh, wrote like uh, wrote the lyrics for all the songs in uh, Little Mermaid and Beauty and the Beast, and uh, was yeah in large part responsible for their like coming together as well as they did. Unfortunately, he. Uh, died really young of uh, AIDS uh, just as Beauty and the Beast was premiering, which is like really sad story. It's just an amazing guy. It sucks we lost him so soon. But uh, Aladdin was kind of a pet project that he'd been starting to put together uh, in the background while uh, Little Mermaid and Beauty and the Beast were going on. So this ended up being the last one he was involved in. And it I don't think it ended up being very similar to what he was originally planning, but uh, still turned out great. Anyway. I'm just fighting stuff. <laughs> As normal. There's so many fights. So, looking for Jasmine. Looking for... Jasmine. The layout of this world is a bit more complicated. Let's go up here. Ah! Aladdin's little house with his treasure, which we're going to steal. Sorry, Aladdin. You'll be fine. Oh! Hello. How you doing there? Carpet flew off of the desert, but let's explore the city more. Can't argue with your logic, duck. Um, let's go this way. Yeah, it's gonna take me a little time to get my bearings. I don't think it's actually that big or complicated a place, I just, uh, always kinda forget the layout every time I'm coming back to the game. Hello? Who's there? Hello? I'm Jasmine. My father is the Sultan of Agrabah. Uh, so that makes you a princess. But he's been deposed by Jafar, who now controls the city. Jafar? You haven't heard of him? He's the royal vizier. He gained evil powers and seized Agrabah. He's desperately looking for something... something he calls the Keyhole. Jafar caught me trying to escape, but he helped... he helped me. Who helped you? We were hiding nearby, but he left a while ago to take care of something. Oh, I hope Aladdin's all right. Aladdin? Where might I find this street rat? Doesn't it sound like he's having such fun? Jasmine. Allow me to find you more suitable company, my dear princess. These little rats won't do you see. Jasmine, run! Ah, the boy who holds the key. Anyway, now we fight. Come on. Come on. Be with you in a bit. Let's pursue, I guess, for lack of a better idea of where to go. What's this keyhole do? Release. Oh, it opens that gate up there. Great. Hope that stays open. Oop. 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 Ha! Yes! Yeah! Ah, another chest. Lovely. Puppies? No. Just a mega ether. Boo. Boy, this world sure is a whole lot of just running around and fighting random stuff. Maybe, maybe Aladdin's out in the desert. Uh, so if Aladdin's who we gotta find, let's try that.
Hello. It wants us to come along? All aboard, I guess. Well then. Good thing we came when we did. And thus our heroes perished. You alright? They're okay. Y'all just give me a minute, I'm gonna fight some stuff out here. And then when I'm ready, I'll come and see how y'all are doing with your quicksand situation. Last one, and kaboom! No, no. Last one, there we go. How you doing? Gorge, not again. Genie, get rid of these guys. <laughs> Wish number one coming right up. I see. <laughs> Thanks, Sora. Aladdin, what are you doing out here? Same old stuff. Hunting legendary treasure. Just paid a visit to the Cave of Wonders. I found that magic carpet. And this lamp. Legend has it that whoever holds the lamp can summon- Please, kid, leave the intros to a professional. The one and only Genie of the Lamp! Rub it up dub the lamp and have your dearest wishes granted. This winner is Aladdin! Congratulations! <laughs> I love that there's a half beat of Donald just sitting there silently staring for a second. Oh, one wish, a two wish, a three wish. Then I make like a banana and steal it. Our lucky winner made his first wish. And let me tell you what a doozy that wish was. So he has two left! So, Master, what do you have for wish number two? How about making me a fabulously wealthy prince? Whoa! Money, royalty, fame! Why didn't I do that? Okay, you asked for it. A hundred servants and a hundred camels loaded with gold. Just say the word and I'll deliver it in 30 minutes or less or your meal's free. Hey, I'll even throw in a cappuccino. <laughs> no thanks. Okay. I think I'll put that on hold until we reach Agrabah. Oh, why a prince? You see, there's this girl in Agrabah named Jasmine. But she's a princess. And I'm... Ah, uh, she could never fall for a guy like me. Princess? Jasmine? Oh, that's right. She's in trouble, Aladdin. What? Well, come on, let's get going. Uh, no, it's, there's, there's Trinity Marks out there. I can't, I can't, Aladdin, I can't. I'm sorry, buddy. No street rats allowed. The great outdoors. I guess you don't get out much, huh? Comes with a job. Phenomenal cosmic powers, itty bitty living space. It's always three wishes, then back to my portable prison. I'm lucky to see the light of day every century or two. Say, Genie, what if I use my last wish to free you from the lamp? What do you think? You do that? Genie, it's a promise. After we help Jasmine. So, as you can probably tell, not Robin Williams voicing Genie here. That would be Dan Castellaneta, the voice of Homer Simpson and uh, backup voice for Genie when Disney needed him. But he's a Dan, and on this channel we give Dan's respect. Oh, he's the voice of Homer also, so I, like, feel like he's earned it. Anyway, a few things about the, like, these cutscenes we've just been watching. One, I'll say it again. The Disney worlds you visit, their little individual stories, generally much less interesting and kind of more obnoxious than the, uh, 
well, arguably more obnoxious than the story stuff you'll find elsewhere. D different. We'll call it different. Also, the animation on the genie is actually a really good showcase of how difficult it can be to <laughs> reproduce Disney film quality animation. <laughs> Not only in 3D, but in a video game on a, like, lower budget per second of animation, basically. Sorry, there's a car outside, but I'm just gonna keep talking, because... Dominic's not the boss of me. Anyway. So, like... You got Genie, animated by... Legendary Eric Goldberg, like... One of the Disney Renaissance's best animators. And, uh... And that character's animation in Aladdin the film is amazing. It is so, so good, and... Like, Robin Williams' voice is so perfect for that character as well. To put that character in 3D, that really exaggerated, cartoonally animated uh, character in 3D, and that's really hard to do. That's really hard to reproduce. I'd be interested to see them try now, because I bet they'd actually do a pretty impressive job, but... Yeah, that's a... Uh, a character that deforms that many ways, and that transforms into other characters and does all that kind of zany, cartoony stuff, that's that's a challenge in 3D. Much more so on a video game budget where you got fewer animators who have to animate a lot more runtime. So you can't, like, they can't spend a week or more on <laughs> a shot. And so the res end result you get is that cutscene you saw, where the genie's animation is really more obnoxious than anything. <laughs> like, just kind of Exhausting to watch. Carrie, put up like just a few seconds of that again. Your dearest wish is granted. This winner is Aladdin. Congratulations. Because uh, yeah, that just wears you out after a while. Not that I blame them. Again, they had a hard, they had a hard task. The PS2. They're doing their best. What am I doing? Just talking about animation and genies and Dan's. Palace gates. Let's go to the palace gates. That's probably where story is waiting, right? Story waiting for me here? No? Hang on. Can I go in? I cannot. Back to wandering. Oh, it's easier to get lost in this town than it is in the desert. So much fighting. How do I get out of here? Can I go in here? Yes, maybe this is my route. Is it? No? Maybe here? No? Let's try going to Aladdin's house. So, Jafar is after Jasmine in this keyhole. Keyhole, huh? I could swear I've heard about that somewhere before. Really? Where? Now, where was it? It's only been 200 years. Well, anyway, we gotta stop Jafar before it's too late. You tell him, Sora. Uh, maybe... This way! To Main Street! Am I... Is this anything? Lost! Lost and bored! I should really be wrapping this episode up, but... Uh, I feel like there's been a whole lot of wandering around, so I don't know how long the episode's actually going to be. It's kind of hard to get the timing right on these episodes. Just, uh, given how variable the length, like, the time I spend recording may end up actually being result in a much shorter episode, because a lot of it was me running around and stuff we skipped. There we go. Okay. That opens up a route, which we're going to take. Which will hopefully get us some new scenes. And things happening. Um, where did that just open? Uh... Let's try down below. Hmm, there's nothing down here. Yeah, whatever. You know what? Let's call it the end of the episode. I'm gonna find where to go, and that's what we're gonna come back on. Thank you very much for watching. I sorry if things are <laughs> boring as I wander around, but I promise we'll get to more story later. For this is story mode. That is what we're focusing on here. Goodbye! See you tomorrow. <laughs>